Hi, let's discuss a concept called X-Type in Sanchartex 2.0. Let's understand the significance of using X-Type in Sanchartex with a simple example. We have the index.html page in Visual Studio, have the uh, Sanchartex CSS and JS files included. Let's create our ext.application with the launch function launch colon function what we will do now is create a simple panel with a text box using ext.create we will discuss the problems involved in using ext.create then we will rewrite the same thing using xtype ext.create let's have the class panel class and the properties of the panel let's have items we use ext.create create a text box ext.field.text specify the properties of your text box let's have a label Say name and let's have a simple placeholder. Let's call it enter your name and let's render the panel to the screen. There we go. Let's quickly specify some height and width. add some padding there we go we have a panel which contains a simple text box the label as name let's run this there we go what we want to do now is move this definition of text box outside this panel creation want to define the text box outside and then include it over here let's have a variable called so name text box define with ext.create ext.field.text and the properties let's copy the properties from here There you go. Now what we want to do is instead of defining this text box inside your items collection, let's list the name text box variable over here. So we have defined the text box outside and used it inside the panel. Let's quickly run this. So far so good. Now let's understand this. When you run this application, what happens is a text box object is created and it's available in the memory, though it's not rendered onto the screen. It's rendered onto the screen only when you actually create a panel and refer to this text box inside the panel's items collection. If the panel is not created, say for example, what happens is this text box object is still available in the memory unnecessarily occupying some space. So how do you avoid that? What we will do is we will define a text box object and use it in the panel. But the text box object should be actually created only when you create a panel. Let's comment this out. Let's define this text box again but this time using the x type variable or x type property name text box x type colon call it text field and give the label so name let's have the placeholder which is enter your name 
what we have done is we have defined a text box object using something called x type x type is nothing but an alias type every ui component in sencha touch has uh, an alias name so ext.field.text has an alias name called text field ext.button has an alias name called button so use this x type and define this text box object and you can refer to the name text box from the panel what happens is when you run this application a text box object is defined remember the text box name text box is a simple variable which is nothing but a javascript object when you run this this after this piece of code gets executed the text box object doesn't get created only when you refer to this text box name text box variable from a panel the actual text box object gets created let's run this view in browser you get the same you can feel the advantages of using this x type is one the syntax is a lot more simple now instead of writing ext.create and specifying the class name you just give an alternative name that is an alias name using x type colon and specifying the name the syntax is much more easier the second advantage is what you have really achieved is something called lazy instantiation the actual object is created only when you render it or use it from another container or some or when you try to render it on to the screen so you postpone the instantiation of the text box object so you save a lot of memory over here if you want to do the same thing say you want to add a button you can create a button let's call it my button equals let's specify the x type of the button which is button and let's have the text say click you want to render this button inside the panel inside the items collection you just specify the my button variable run this you get the button so these are the advantages of using x type in your application